Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c square plus c square and its whole square root is equals to c square and here we solve this problem for all the values of c. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards uh, uh, the solution of first method. And in the first method, we need to remove this k root sign from left hand side. So in order to remove this k root sign, we need to take a scaring on both of the sides. So when we take squaring it will be written as in this form okay this is c square and its whole square and now you see that this two and this square root are gone and we get here c square plus c square is equals to here we have c square and its whole square becomes c to the power of four and now in the left hand side you see we have these are the two variable terms are added by each other so when you add these two terms it will become 2 times of c square is equals to c to the power of 4 and further in the next step we need to move this 2 times c square into the right hand side and it will become c to the power of 4 minus 2 times of c square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see that uh, here uh, we need to take common c square uh, uh, on both of these terms and when we will take common c square we get the remaining values are from here we get c square minus from here uh, we get 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c square is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c square minus 2 is equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of c is equals to 0 because here we need to apply a square root on both of the sides in order to get the values of c. So this 2 and this square root are gone and we easily get the value of c is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and uh, further we need to find other roots from here so that we move this minus 2 to the right hand side and we get c square is equals to minus 2. So again for the values of c we need to take square root on both of the sides and you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get c is equals to square root of 2. Also you know about that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the sides okay. So this is uh, the these, these are the two uh, values of c. Uh, which we get here from first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that uh, is uh, both of these values are satisfied our given question statement or these are extraneous roots so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c square plus c square and it holds square root is equals to c square in this side we will be verify that c is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to plus minus square root of 2 okay so when uh, we substitute c is equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as this will become 0 square plus 0 square is equals to 0 square and its whole square root so we get 0 square plus 0 square becomes 0 is equals to 0. This shows that the value of c is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement. And now here we need to verify these values. So when you put these values here it will become the square root of uh, plus minus square root of 2 and its whole square plus this is also plus minus square root of 2 and its whole square is equals to plus minus square root of 2 and its whole square and now you see that plus minus a square becomes here a plus and the square root of 2 becomes here 2 plus this is also 2 square root is equals to here we know that uh, the square of plus minus becomes plus and these two and square root are gone and you get here two only 
so this is 2 plus 2 becomes square root of 4 is equals to 2 and we know that uh, square root of 4 becomes 2 is equals to 2 so this shows that these two values are also satisfied our given question statement so finally we have the solution set of the given question is that 0 and plus minus square root of 2 so this is the solution set which we get here from first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down a given question statement here so that the given question statement is square root of c square plus c square is equals to c square so in the second method we will get here a quick roots of the given equation uh, so here i can just give you a nice techniques in which you can easily get uh, directly get the roots of the given equation okay so here uh, in the second method uh, we uh, focus into the left hand side and you see here c square plus c square becomes two times of c square and its whole square root is equals to c square and here we need to uh, apply square root separately on both of these values and it will becomes a uh, square root of 2 into square root of c square is equals to c square so this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here square root of 2 times of c is equals to c square and uh, further in the next step uh, we need to move this square root of 2 uh, times of c to the right hand side and it will become c square minus square root of 2 times c is equals to 0 and here we need to take common c from here and when you take common c from here we get the remaining values are c minus square root of 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus square root of 2 is equals to 0 so this is the first root which we get here from second method and here we need to move this minus square root of 2 to the right hand side and it will be written as c is equals to square root of 2 so this is the our second root of the given equation and you see here uh, from second method we again get the two roots of the given equation and also in the first method we uh, already verify that both both of these two roots are satisfied our given question statement uh, so the conclusion about the solution set of the given question is that uh, 0 and square root of 2 be the solution set of the given question which we get here from second method so uh, this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much uh, for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.